All right, man, let's talk about uh, Shakur Stevenson. Uh, he posted and deleted a tweet. He was on this Javante Hank Davis stuff uh, where he posted that Frank Martin won in 50-50. Then he took it down. So um, that sounded about right. PBC uh, demanded what they don't deserve. Um, that sound really, really about right. Um and it's how they do. Like I said, uh, last night in the live, you know, remember Lerbachenko got like three or four or five million to uh to fight Triple G, and he wasn't worth none of that. He probably barely made a million in any fight he had been a part of before fighting Triple G. Right? He, you know, he probably ain't never touched touched that type of money, but that's what Al Heyman do. Al Heyman get top dollar for these fighters. Al Heyman is the one that messed up the market. For um, you know, for fighters, for p- paying fighters, he was paying guys like Andre Berto an insane amount of money to uh, to fight nobodies on HBO, and that's pretty much where the Bob Arum start hating that because um, Al Heyman was able to get money for um, fighter, you know, get money for guys like Andre Berto, big money out of HBO that he didn't really deserve, and morally. Um, and business-wise, Bob Barron was right. But, you know, he started hating on Al Heyman. But that ain't Al Heyman fought that they gave him the money and not giving it to Bob Barron. So that's one thing you got to think about. It ain't Bob Barron fought because – I mean, Al Heyman fought because he able to finesse HBO out of the same, the same amount of money for his fighters. That's his, his job is to, you know, um, negotiate and get the best deal. And Bob Barron was mad because he wasn't doing the same thing. So – um, that's kind of where the beef started at in Al Heyman inflated the market for fighters that made everybody else step it up. Then Eddie Hearn inflated the market again with fighters when he had that billion dollar credit line with his own and really nothing came out of it because nobody's really working together on a consistent basis to, um, to use the fight dates, you know, um, to their most optimized point so we can get the most and best out of boxing but you see frank secure steven said frankie said he if he's not getting 50 50 with me he ain't fighting he say 50 50 or none laugh my ass off so he posted this last night right before midnight and um it sounded about right so i know they demanded like 1.5 million dollars they ended up getting one and a quarter i believe it was or something like that and he agreed to it now you know like i said before um i guess that was that way i asked for a bunch of money you know, to price they self out. So Frank wouldn't have to go through with Shakir Stevenson, Bob Arum and them, you know, Ty DeBuff came up with a little bit more money, gave him one and a quarter or something like that. They accepted it. Then it's like 50-50 or nothing. And that's, I believe it. I believe what he's saying. Shakir ain't got no reason to lie about that. Frank Martin, this is a dude, they say, you know, let's, you know, um, let's pull up the facts. We sitting here, hold on. Plug the facts that's not going off. He say she say shit. Uh, you know, let's pull up the facts. Um, hold on. So I'm looking trying to look up their purses for his last fight. You know, uh, so they don't got it. But it was said that he made one point. You know, he made 1.5, I mean, 75K. Let's see uh, something else. You know, they said he made 75K. So it says that Ryan Rivera and Martin confirmed to take place December 19th. He said both of them will purse, get a BNT purse based on past fights. Rivera, he will get paid 200. They saying Rivera. Okay, here we go. Do we, we, I don't have nothing for the Arnold fight, but I found something on the Revere fight. So here we go. Um, step, step. <laughs> step in the name of Doug. So they saying that Michelle Rivera was making 200K for that fight. Frank Martin made 75K. So let's say Frank Martin brought home, you know, 100K. So... He just made 75K. Not sure what he got with the Artem, whatever fight he was, but 
he just got 75k. So let's say his last fight, you doubled at the 150. You know, you still getting a million dollars. So you let Al Heyman talk you out of, of, of getting a million dollars. Which is wild. No matter what the promise is, if it ain't if it ain't that a million dollars in the belt, then it wasn't worth it. That's called a space to spade to spade. If it wasn't that, if it wasn't a million dollars, it wasn't it wasn't in, in a belt. It wasn't it, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Let's keep it, let's call let's keep a spade call it spade to spade. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's like uh, I can even say if he came out and said, well, I didn't want to fight on Thursday. <laughs> okay, cool. But, you know, what Frank Martin standing on saying that he won 50-50, what was he standing on? The only thing he could stand on, this is a way to price yourself out so you didn't want because you didn't want the fight. And everybody knew, everybody knew, everybody knew that he was gonna lose. Everybody knew he was gonna lose. So that's kind of like what we trying to figure out. You know, like was it because you knew he wasn't gonna lose? I mean you knew he wasn't gonna win. I mean, what's what's the end game here? Quite frankly, you know, one loss is not gonna define you, and you get a title shot. And then on the flip side of things, all top rank, all PBC had to do is what is, is give Shakir Stevenson a bunch of money, and he come to PBC, or he miss out on the title shot. Simple as that. Y'all counter and say this is what we gonna offer Shakir a bunch of money. We are gonna pay Frank that 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 that, that the, the money that Frank won't. This is what you get Shakir Stevenson and be done with it, or win the purse be it. It makes Shakir Stevenson look like a duck if he can't come to PBC and fight for a vacant title. It's as simple as that. Then you pay Frank and Shakira Stevenson what top Frank wasn't willing to pay Frank. Which he would have got way more than a career high. A bunch way more than a career high he would have got versus uh, you know, you know, fighting his previous fights. You know, Bow Heyman don't ain't doing no business practice, man. They just didn't want him to go over there and lose. And they didn't want to break bread with top rank. That's wild. And I'm trying to figure out. He's the guy who never touched the title with Frankie Boy Martin. He never touched the title. Never been in a title fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, didn't medal. So what do we got to stand? What business he got to stand on for 50-50? Tell me that. What, what, what merit does he stand on for 50-50? Come on. What merit does he stand on? That's what we're trying to figure out. What does he stand on for 50 50? Please, somebody tell me. It's bananas. It's bananas in pajamas. So. I mean, I, I just, well, that's just how Al Heyman operate. That's their way of pricing themselves out of a fight. They do this routinely. They do this routinely. So it ain't nothing new. So, um, I mean, like I said before, anybody who who supporting Frank Martin or supporting PBC, uh, supporting PBC in this situation where Frank Martin is Frank Martin a duck. Um,
I don't know what to say. Let's let you know they they got they got no they don't have no rationale. That they they all with PBC. They all with PBC. You know, they all with PBC. All in, no matter what PBC do, they're always gonna move that gun line. There's no way to justify this. And people that justify this, they're not real boxing fans. They're not real boxing content creators. They marks. They marks. Frank Warren don't deserve 2575. Let's keep it a bean. People say, well, this is the same thing as Devin Haney. No, it's not because Devin Haney never sent the off actual offer. So I ain't got nothing to do with that. And Secure is the easy A side over Frank Martin. He's been lineal. He's won multiple belts in multiple weight classes. He's done all that. What does Frank Martin do in boxing? Like I said before, and it'd be funny he go out there versus his next opponent and lose, which that's what should happen, but he probably ain't going to fight nobody. He need to be rematching old boy. He'll beat his ass, but... Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all our notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live or drop video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel, cash app, Balasan, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine, check out the Box News playlist, peace.